Well, I got involved with performing arts when I was very, very young. And so when I came to Chadwick in sixth grade, I think one of the first things I did must have been the sixth grade Shakespeare play. I did A Midsummer Night's Dream with Miss Schneider. And it was the first time I'd ever done Shakespeare. And that made me fall in love with Shakespeare. It was an introduction to Shakespeare for me. While I was at Chadwick, I um, most, spent most of my time doing um, improv and theater. Um, I was in the chimps and um, I was also in the chorus. To be here to celebrate the Labrity 10 year anniversary is more exciting than I thought it would be because of the fact that I'm, I'm getting to perform with um, fellow Rainbow Connection members and um, I honestly never thought that that would ever happen again. So as many of you know, Jeff is a performer. He would perform anytime any place, anywhere. His passion was magic, but he loved theater, and he loved music, and he was learning to love dancing, and he was taking singing lessons. It didn't matter what the performance, he loved to do it. After going to UCLA and seeing the kind of spaces that we were using there, I mean, the Laverty Center is like state of the art. Like I was in a professional training program that didn't have half of the capabilities that the Laverty Center does, and because of it, we had so many I mean, different, there were new classes starting. There were different levels of acting classes because there were actually rooms to have acting classes in. And the theater itself, we were allowed to do just so many different types of shows that I don't think were possibilities beforehand. Our family is not a family of performers. Jeff was unique. But when we saw him, the pleasure we would get from watching him perform and the pleasure we would get from seeing him try new things and experiment uh, I was his assistant in magic, and it was so much fun to watch him develop those talents. When he passed, we really wanted to look for something that had meaning for him. Not just a plaque, not just a statue, not just a memory, but something that would reflect his passion and allow that passion to be uh, bred and grown in future generations of Chadwick students. How do I remain so calm and cheerful? How do I retain my peace of mind? 